Hello. Virtual Dogowin. Hey, you seem quite nice. Much nicer than Virtual Dagowin. Okay, so I'm starting by clearing the field of bales. Today is the day when it is potentially going to reach 40 degrees Celsius here in the UK. Um, so recording this video is painful, um, <laughs> to say the least. Extremely hot. Very, very uncomfortable. So I might record this video over two sessions or just make it a bit shorter. See how we go. Um, but no, I, I thought it would be a shame to miss a day. I don't really miss a day, very rarely. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be an easy recording, but I've tried my best. Anyway, let's just go just over here. As you can see, I've already got the uh, maple syrup loaded onto the back. This can join the rest of it. Although I might actually keep it on the treader because that's probably the bell work done until harvest time, which will be an episode or two from now. Actually, it is December. So maybe the price is good enough to sell it today. I'll have to see. Anyway, let's just get these hay bales taken off. Need to pop these into the shed for the cows. Hopefully I've given myself enough space to manoeuvre. But of course we do have the smaller front loader now. This is the Q4. Uh, I reckon I could have got away with using the Q3. It would have just been more compact. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect the strength seems in farming space that the front loaders are all the same sort of power. They can all lift the same amount. Right, so should I block in the silage or the straw? I would say the straw, because the hay bales are going to be required all the time. I don't actually want to block in anything. I'll probably have to free up another area. But we're going to have some more straw bales coming soon, so uh, it's likely that those ones aren't even required yet. The hay bales will be required first. Right, so we've got three more. There we go. Yeah, I forget how many pallets of maple syrup I have over at the sell point, but it would be good if we can just sell them all today. Or was it maple syrup that was best in March? Something was best in March, everything else was January. Yes, that's typical. So March for the maple syrup, but that shouldn't be a problem. Because if the worst comes to the worst, I can just unload these at the sell point. Just don't put them in the trigger. But there we go. That is the final bale. There we go. Neatish. Pop the trailer back onto the rear of the tractor. And we're off. Yeah, although it looks like a really good load, it is only 2,304 litres, because uh, it's not 1,000 litres per pallet, so yeah, it's okay, but it's not incredible. Those logs, yeah, they're going to have to go to the sawmill, probably at the same time as, well, when I've emptied this trailer, same time as something else that's going up there, straw bales maybe. And yeah, I will just stack these just there. Done. So one of those pallets did just about clip the trigger. So it gave us a tiny bit of money. Uh, nothing significant. And the price isn't too bad anyway, so that's fine. Anyway, let's just head back down here. I'm not too sure if there's anything else to do in December. It would be good to get to January because we do have so many things to sell. I've got the new trailer, which is full of barley. And that needs to be sold, but I will check the price for barley in December as well. Because there is always a chance it's best at the moment. And then we've got tomatoes. They need to be sold. There may be something else, but those are the main two. Okay, right, so... Let us take a look at the barley. Price is pretty good. 1182. Currently, 1188. So yeah, that could be, it could be better in December than January this year. So yes, since I have very little else to do, I'll load up all of the tomato pallets ready. And then I'll get the 
new trailer over there, well, new to us trailer, popped onto the back of the new Holland tractor, ready to take up to the cell point. It's amazing how hard it is to think in the heat. Very hard work. There may be some people from very hot countries who think, what, 40 degrees Celsius? That's nothing. Well, if we do reach 40, which you'll know by now because it was two days ago at the time this video goes out, um, yeah, it's a new record. Highest we've had, I think, is 38.7? Maybe 6? Um, and that was in 2019. So, yeah, that was... Uh, I remember it. Obviously, it was only a few years ago. It was hot. Today does feel much hotter. So, yeah, anyway... Just get the rest of these on, and then we will... Hello! You made me jump. <laughs> You're following me. Yes, then we'll get the trailer on the go. Hmm, what's virtual Dogwin seen? He's off. Goodbye. Right, so, yes, I'm just going to increase the rate of time, put it to times 120, for now. Uh, was it... he... Oh, he must be still set to follow. Go home! You're not mine, you're virtual dagger wins. Although it was kind of fun having him follow me. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, so. Blue on blue, of course. Blue tractor on a blue trailer, and a red tractor with red pallets. It's the best I could do. We don't have a red flatbed trailer. But yes, I'll put those. Um, logs onto the flatbed when we take it up there. Yeah, it's a good load. 13,000 litres. Seems very good. Have a look underneath. Yep. Great. So is that price going up anymore? Oh, it is. So we should be able to get 1,200. But yeah, I'll still make my way up there. to be using this new track more than the official track. I suppose it does take the corner off. I was also going to get a grass roller, but I'm not too sure if it's the right time now. The grass has started to grow, so it's probably not a good idea to do right now. Well, it's five o'clock in the evening. Most of the day has been spent driving up here. We have hit 1220, which is a good number for me. My Massey Ferguson 1220 compact tracer is uh, a nice machine. <laughs> okay, so it is still going up very, very slowly. It would make sense to wait for it to max out. That is our cell point. Yeah, I'll just see what it can get to. Just progress a little bit more. It's going down. Okay, 12.37. So, it was worth waiting because I think the price was about 900 when I actually harvested this originally. So, yeah, 300 pounds extra for every 1,000 litres. The money is rocketing up. Uh, which it needs to do, because, yeah, we need to buy the new plot of land, which is £170,000. I go on about this all the time, and I will do until we actually buy it. Once we have bought it, we can focus on other stuff. Machinery, uh, barns, sheds, workshops, everything like that. And, yeah, the um, new seed drills, they'll be very handy. I never make it around the corner. I think this tractor probably will be replaced fairly soon, but I'll probably keep it to do all the new field creation. I would like to get out Valtra, which I showed you probably eight episodes ago. Basically the episode when we bought this. Well, on my way back, I just very quickly flicked onto the used machinery sales, and I could not believe my eyes. This tractor, which we spent a lot of money on, is actually in it. Look at that, I can't believe it. And also, I think that's probably the first mod I've ever seen in the vehicle cell. 
This Izeki is in the cell too, which is pretty good, but we've got it on the other series, so yeah, I don't want to really duplicate tractors. Two more pallets of maple syrup have been produced. And I will indeed check the price for tomatoes before you go to bed. Just in case the price is good today. Okay, uh, I think I'll probably just sheet this over and put it over here. We can keep it outside because of the sheet. It'd be nice to keep it inside, but yeah, we can't always have that luxury. And I hope that we've got some chocks to go behind the wheels, otherwise we're going to have a runaway trailer. Okay, <laughs> we don't have any chocks. Um, right, okay, let's just pull that forward a bit. So, tomatoes. 17.24. Yes, the potential is there to go up quite a bit. So I will go to bed. Go through our tunnel of light. Well, kind of a tunnel without the tunnel part. And I'll see you in the morning. Looks like a nice day. Yeah, it's a very nice day. So the tomatoes are now... 1800 and that is very good very very good so they're going to go to I think the same place well same company but a different trigger because they are pallets and I could probably keep them on this same tractor we don't need to uh, swap over they can't be that heavy do we have any more? oh we've got one more 7,500 litres plus this one here. So that should be 8,000 in total. And there's enough space on the side of here to slot those logs in. So that'll clear the track. Make it all look a bit neater. Right, so it's just hanging off the side, but that should be okay. Where's the smaller piece gone? Probably in the crop. That would be typical. I don't know where I put it, actually. Ah, there it is. An aerial view is always the easiest way of being able to see. Can have its own strap. There we go. What a lucky thing. So, yeah, um, whoops. Yes, with flight mode enabled, you can't actually tab. Well, you can't actually get into the vehicles, you have to tab to them. So I'll just disable flight mode. There we go. And I'll see you over there. I'll sell the tomatoes first, and then we'll come back and we'll go to the sawmill. The sawmill will probably only give us about £200. Maybe £300. And then from there, we can decide what to do next, because obviously. It is January, things have moved on quite a bit. We might even have a crop ready, I didn't even think to look. Um, if we do, then... That could be harvest. No, it wasn't ready, was it? I did look. I have a faint memory. Anyway, this is not the place to go to, as I've just remembered. Uh, this heat is horrific. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, spin around here. This is where we need to be. See if we can get it all in one go. A combined payment, but this—I I think this is a whole year's worth of uh, tomatoes. So it gives us a good idea of how much the greenhouse will generate in a year. It seems to be quite good and quite slow at selling, but that's fine. I'm very happy waiting for our money. Fifteen thousand seven hundred and 20 pounds. Obviously it's not going to make us super rich, but it, it's just an extra. It just helps us out. Okay. Might have to knock them off onto the ground, let's just see. Yep. Whoops. That was the trailer. Right, that should be good enough. Ooh, not bad actually. 
£689 plus a £61 environmental score reward. So we now have, after selling everything that we really have, £73,613. So we just need about another 100000 and we'll be okay. Oh, look at that. Another one's popped in. The Fiat Agri. I was actually going to buy this one at one point. Um, I, I don't know if we should still get it. It's lower horsepower than the New Holland. Yes, if that had appeared when I was looking to buy a new tractor, I would have definitely gone for it. But no grass roller, so we're not going to get one of those this time around. Probably next time. Oh, hello, yellow car. Oh, I just noticed as well. That's the super steer. Ours is not a super steer. I'll have to check. Maybe we can replace ours. We'll basically swap it. That would be good if we could swap it. I will definitely look into it. Right, okay, so yeah, we've got grass, which looks to be fully grown again, which is unbelievable. Um, the soybeans at the top, I think, and also the canola down here. More maple syrup. Right, so I think I fully spec the new Holland, which we have, as in horsepower-wise. Uh, maximum engine horsepower. So ours is still worth at least, because we do get a bit more of it for actually taking it to the store, at least 80,000. Probably 85-ish. 240 horsepower. I don't think I added any other options, although I might be wrong. Can't guarantee it. Um, yes, yeah, so the 8970. Let us see what this will give us. 8970. Ah oh, yes, I did. I put the front linkage on, which was 5,000. Did I put... I think I might have put some wide tyres on. Yep. So I think that was it. That'd be 90,000. So it'll probably cost us about 5,000 for super steer. I think we're going to go for it, because... Yeah, this tractor doesn't turn very tight. Okay, so we've done three hours. Did it just tick over then? It might have done. I'm sure that said 2.9. Um, let's just see what we can actually get for it. Oh, 88. Oh, wow. I will spend a bit of money just fixing it up. Okay. And let's just hope it's now not disappeared out of the uh, sale. Good. That would have been typical. So, yeah, we want the 240 horsepower. We want the front three-point linkage. Uh, we want the wide tyres. Maybe I did have those. Maybe if I had the BKT standards. I don't know. They're very similar. Um, yeah, so that'd be 91. So we're only paying a very small amount more to get the super steer. Um, obviously, it's going to be a used tractor, but then I don't think we really feel a huge difference with the one we bought new. Because I can just fix it up. See how much it is to repair. Yeah, I'm guessing when it says super steer, it does turn tight. It does feel like it does. Unless I've completely misinterpreted the super steer. That did feel good, though. So, yeah, only 939 to repair. And we're not concerned at all about the paintwork. So, lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the whole lot. The whole front, including the three-point linkage, actually turns. So it is a, uh, I don't know if it's a unique design, but it's certainly fascinating. And we do indeed still have £71,000. What do we have before? 73 Yeah, well, it's good. Very good. Let's get it taken back to the farm. Is it too late to put fertilizer on the grass? 
If I was to have a guess, I'd say it is. But I don't know for sure. And also, how is everything doing for water? Let's just take a look. So the greenhouse is fine. Maple syrup is fine. Good. I notice they've consumed the bales that were there. They do still have food. But I probably should give them some more. Anyway, yeah. I'm very happy with my upgrade. You've probably noticed I am using the John Deere's weight. Might as well. Right, so, how many should we give them? Two? Probably should give them two. And they are getting older, slowly. Eventually, they're going to produce milk. And reproduce. There we go, cows. Enjoy. Well, that's our final area. Did indeed need fertilizer. The crop next to us looks like it does, but it doesn't because it's soybeans. Soybeans do not require additional fertilizer, which is part of the reason why I grow them. <laughs> it just saves so much money, and they do yield quite well. So, um, yeah, let's just make sure this is all done. I think I've got everything. Yep. Fold it up. Still got 74% fertilizer in the tank, which seems pretty good. I'll put it into the shed. And I think I will just get one tank load of water for the maple syrup production. Just to guarantee that everything is going to keep going. Because fairly soon I'm going to get distracted by the harvest. It looks like both the canola and the soybean crops are going to be ready around the same time. Which is surprising because one of them I think was put in maybe two months earlier but yeah I guess canola is faster growing yeah it's interesting to see how old those cows are now there must be at least four seven blimey seven months old that's really good um, they start to produce milk at some point 18 months for reproduction maybe it's the same Yeah, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, but I might be wrong. Um, yeah, we've also got some more maple syrup. It's important that these are kept clear, actually. So it can keep spawning. Oh, we've already got a bit of water in here. Well, I'll go down to the lake. I'll get another full one. And if it doesn't want it all, which I think it will do, we could always take it to the greenhouse. So I think really, for January, we're pretty much done. And I like that we're going to be harvesting in sort of February, March time, because the prices should be quite good. And thank you to everybody who has recommended the fixed commodity price mod, um, which basically just gives you a consistent amount for each crop, whatever the time of year. So it basically is like removing the seasons aspect, the supply and demand. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use it, because it, it makes it a bit more challenging having fluctuations. But it's certainly something to consider. Okay, let's get back up to the farm. Yeah, this virtual dog wind really does think that he's moved in. In 
he goes. I think he will take it all. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. Yeah, okay, so hopefully it's quite full. Yeah, it's pretty full. And we'll do the greenhouse in probably a month or two's time. So, um, yeah, I think the time has come to rest. Obviously, I could cut the grass, but we've just been doing that quite a bit recently. And we're not in any desperate need for it, so we'll give it a, a month. And hopefully, the crops will be ready once they've rested. I'm not going to harvest them today. It's just way too hot here. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, we will hopefully... I don't know if we'll get both fields done, but we might be able to. Because there'll be no har there'll be no bailing involved. It's just going to be harvesting. Okay, slow down time. Check the used machinery sales. Um, yeah, I think we've probably got our plow now. That's only 1.2 metres. Obviously the hydro, hydro trike is completely out of the question. Too expensive for us, and we don't have any slurry. That would be nice, but yeah, for the horsepower, it's too expensive for us. We have to go for these older tractors. So, what do the fields look like? The canola is still in flower, so not canola. And the soybeans are still not ready. Interesting. So it's probably going to be March. Which means we may cut the grass again next time. Possibly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Good grief. There's quite a lot of maple syrup. Yes, I was just going to end, but now we'll just check. Yeah, price is going up nicely. 4434. Four. Well, it's exactly what it is now. So, again, there is a chance that it's not going to be actually better in March. It might be better in February. So, yeah, there is a possibility that at the beginning or maybe the end of the next episode the maple syrup will all be sold which should bring in quite a bit of money thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and until next time see you again soon bye for now